39-8-1 with 16 wins by way of knockout against Boniaski, 97-9 with 36 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the first fighter fighting out of the blue corner, Philip Valentin! His opponent fighting out of the red corner, Remy Bonjaski! Bonjaski has fought Four of the other Grand Slam participants beating two, losing two. He has three losses to Sammy Schilt, a loss to Peter Arts, but victories over Gokan Saki and Anderson Braddock Silva. Okay, fighters, you know the rules. No head butts, no elbows, no clinches in the lower back. Off to make a moment break, it's break, stop, stop, y'all, okay? It was a good fight. Shake hands against the back. Berlin didn't face Brees Guidon, losing to him via unanimous decision in October of 2010. Of course, Guidon went down to defeat versus Sammy Schilt in the opening bout of the evening. Round one, we are underway. Final 16 action between Randy Boniaski and Philip Berlinden. Berlinden in the blue gloves, Boniaski in the red. Berlinden has to smother Boniaski. Can't let him get into his rhythm. Boniaski, known as a flying gentleman and known for those spectacular flying knee attacks, tried a flying knee there. They're exchanging kicks here in the early going. Boniaski promised he'd fly. Jab, flurry of punches, couldn't penetrate Boniaski's guard. The footwork from Verlinden, who's backed up along the rope, circles away. There's a knee by Verlinden. Counter left hand by Boniaski. Verlinden using side to side movement very well to score and then get out of the way of Boniaski's counter attacks. Nice left hook to the body by Verlinden. Combination upstairs. High guard by Boniaski. Less than a minute remaining here in the opening round. You're watching the Glory Heavyweight Grand Slam on CBS Sports Network in the United States. And around the world, we hope you're enjoying it. Nice combination coming in with a low kick by Boniaski. Knee to the midsection. But Berlinden utilizing good footwork to avoid a lot of this attack. Berlinden's working great angles here. The speed definitely being a factor. Catches that kick inside, low kick by Verlinden. 20 seconds remaining in the opening round. Connects with the jab through the guard. Clinch work by Borniaski, wants to deliver a knee. Left hook around the guard, left head kick blocked by Verlinden. Overhand right connects by Borniaski. Well, Verlinden likes to travel, but he ain't going nowhere but forward right now. Good opening round between Philip Verlinden and Remy Boniaski. Oh, that was close. Verlinden came on early, but Boniaski closed the gap. Tough round to score. I wouldn't be surprised if our five judges had that on a split. Boniaski, of course, a model and a spokesman, but game to bang. He gets in there and after Verlinden right away. Verlinden very evasive with his footwork. Those short punches, he's doing great work on and kicking the inside of that leg. It's been very effective against Bunyaski. For Linden countering back off the low kicks, but Bunyaski in that clip shielding well. Philippe Verlinden takes the first round. So Philippe Verlinden, the underdog in this fight, has scored the victory in the opening round. And again, a best of three affair where should Verlinden get the judges favor in the second round if it goes to the third and wins the second round there will be no third round he'll automatically advance Boniaski has two sons nine-year-old Cassius three-year-old Clay wonder who his favorite fighter was growing up and his son Cassius watching him fight for the first time have to be a little concerned following that first round as Verlinden is ahead on the scorecards. This is a rare case in Bunyaski's career where he's facing a fighter who's quicker than he is, and he can't seem to solve the puzzle. He's got to hurt Verlinden to get things done. 
There's a knee from Berlinden giving Bonyaski a dose of his own medicine. Nice punch combination oh, nice. there by Bonyaski, working the body and going upstairs. Berlinden, though, showcasing some of his head speed. Those punch combinations and inside leg kick, man. Wonderful dividend. Berlinden very rarely throws a single punch at a time, usually three to five punch combinations. Lennon started following the kickboxing with his dad. He started watching Peter Arts fight when he was a little boy. He's always a huge fan. Can't believe he's in there right now. Less than a minute remaining in the second round. Lots of action here between Remy Bonyaski in the red gloves and Philip Berlinden in the blue gloves. Bonyaski looking to even the affair and force that third and final round. Doing a good job here in the second stanza. <laughs> Lennon getting rough. Such a high pace. We saw the speed of Gokan Saki on display. Philip Berlinden feels that he has a faster jab than Saki. Body kick by Berlinden. Right hand through the guard. Under 20 seconds remaining in the second stanza. He again, Berlinden will be utilizing a lot of knees against a guy known for his spectacular knee attacks in Remy Bonyaski. Bonyaski coming on. Bonyaski landing low kicks over and over. If Berlinden should get by Bonyaski, that leg, that left leg is going to be hurting. I don't know, that was a very close round and one that I tend to favor Bonyaski for the first time tonight. We could be seeing a third and final round, but that's up to the five judges at ringside to determine. Well, Bunyaski may have had two and a half years with no sparring and light work because of that eye, but he's putting together some real nice combinations here. And Berlinden is just really canny on the footwork and understanding where he needs to move his body. So I'm lean back and get past that kick right there. Berlinden made a comment that uh, he felt that the boxers of today wouldn't last in kickboxing and vice versa. He felt that they were kind of weak. And here we go. Look at this. Bunyaski squeaks it out. Four judges ruling for Remy Bunyaski. We will have a third round. So for the first time in the round of 16, we are going to a third and final round. Remy Bonyaski, Philip Verlinden, deadlocked at a round apiece. A spot in the final eight hanging in the balance. The bell in round two. This is where our tournament is. Or make that round three. I'm used to say round two tonight. Third and final round underway. This is where our tournament is tough. Because after those are two close rounds, both guys took a lot of shots, especially to the leg. Low leg kick inside by Berlinden. Bonyaski going upstairs with the punches. Berlinden along the ropes wants to keep Bonyaski at a distance. Bonyaski closing the distance now, clinching up, delivering a knee attack along the ropes. Oh, that downward chopping leg kick. Oh, just kill the leg. Bonyaski leg kick by Berlinden. Bonyaski made a style of constant movement, yet he's facing another fighter that has the same style, yet looks completely different by the way he fights. They're going tit for tat here in the third and final round with now just one minute remaining in the fight. Who is going to advance to the quarterfinals of the Glory Heavyweight Grand Slam, where the last man standing will have to win an unprecedented four fights in one night to walk away with the $400,000 grand prize? Bonyaski much busier here. They're just chopping away. On left leg, Berlinden is going to be hurting tomorrow. He's going to be limping for a week. Right hand by Bonyaski. Berlinden trying to kick another right hand by Bonyaski to the side of Berlinden's head. Berlinden gulping in the air. Under 20 seconds now left in the fight. An onslaught here by Bonyaski. Berlinden now with a couple of left body kicks, trying to stave off the attack of Bonyaski. Backing up along the ropes, coming forward. Less than five seconds left in the fight. Is it going to be Bonyaski or Berlinden who advances to the quarterfinals? I'd be surprised if they gave that to Berlinden. I, I felt that Bonyaski won that round. He certainly came on strong there. 
Bunyaski coming on strong in the last round. Real, a lot of movement, a lot of in and out, working angles, throwing lots of combinations. He was very active and getting a little pushy there, too. <laughs> getting, a little, getting a little rough. I yeah. think Verlinden pushed him around that last round. He said, no, I'm not about that. Yeah, uh, Verlinden tried everything he could, but he was starting to fade, and I believe it was the kicks. But it was also, he had to move constantly to stay out of harm's way against Bunyaski. So we have await the judge's decision. Round Remy one went to Philip Verlinden. Round two went Red to Remy Bunyaski. Who will win the third and deciding round? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner after three rounds. The winner is Red Corner, Remy Bunyaski. So Remy Bunyaski advances to the quarterfinals with a unanimous decision win over Philip Verlinden. And that was a terrific scrap between two very hungry fighters.